Hey guys, it's Gady and welcome to GetUtilized.com. Well, this is the third installment in the Smart GPU 2 series. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to draw uh, lines, circles, and all those uh, basic, uh, you know, geometric uh, parameters and primitives, especially on your Smart GPU 2. So, primarily, be, uh, primarily, I'll be showing you the pre-made program by Visic Technologies. I'll be just uh, explaining few things which are uh, complex and we will you know try to write our own program of how to draw a line how to draw a circle how to draw a triangle with the help of uh, ready-made functions in the smart gpu to library so uh, here is the basic program of lines uh, these programs are easily available on the on their site visit technologies.com uh, link is available in the description so to begin with uh, they have uh, included their uh, library that is the smart gpu 2 Oops, here we go. Uh, smart GPU 2 dot H. Then create our object called LCD. So LCD is the name of the object which belongs to the Smart GPU 2 class or the library. So void setup. We have to initialize the LCD. We have to start the initialize the Smart GPU 2 processor. You know, commenting has done. Uh, commenting has uh, has been excellent in all these programs. Coming down, void loop. So they have declared two parameters, point P1 and P2. Uh, P1 has uh, two parameters, X and Y, and P2 itself has two parameters, uh, X and Y also. So this shall be X1 and Y1, and this shall be X2 and Y2, as we need four uh, basic coordinates to draw a line. We can also decide the cor color of the line with the help of this. This is the baud rate of the LCD. And since now we'll be drawing uh, random multiple lines, on the smart gpu2 so p1 dot x is equal to random 0 comma lcd dot lcd underscore width so it will be choosing a random number from the from 0 to the maximum width of the lcd you know we are dealing with 320 by 240 so 320 is the width of the touch screen so it will be picking up a random number 0 to 320 say 5 uh, same shall go with y1 uh, treat this as x1, y1, x2 and y2. So here are the four coordinates we require to draw a line. Also it will be choosing a random color. And this one is a random seed. Set, set different seeds to obtain a good random number. So this gives a nice probability of obtaining a nice uh, random number. And we'll be putting all these things in a while loop which shall go endless. So this uh, here comes in our uh, major function. If LCD dot draw line x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 and the color of the line is not equal to the uh, you know null character or the zero, then we shall be drawing the line. So this is the x1. This shall be the y1. Here goes the x2, y2, and the color. We can also write the color in terms of as in you know capital letters like the red, blue, as they are already declared already declared in this library. So uh, let's run this. Let me see if my board is yeah compy. Let's burn this program and I'll show you how this thing looks on your smart GPU too. Here we go. This is what it uh, looks like. You know, it will be just drawing random lines, and since we have uh, put those things in a while one loop, this thing, these things will be going pretty far away. You know, endless. So uh, done with lines. I'll be showing you circles now. So here is your program for the circle. Uh, this program will be generating uh, multiple circles as. We will be encountering the while loop over here. The header part and the void setup part remains the same. Now these are the basic parameters which we will be using to draw a circle. Point shall contain x and y that is the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle. The radius of the circle and the color of the circle. We can also fill the circle or we can keep it hollow. So coming to the while loop again the same thing random seed point x that is the x coordinate of the center of the circle 
point x point y that is the y coordinate of the center of the circle which shall be ranging from the 0 to the lcd width and the y coordinate shall be ranging from 0 to the lcd height radius shall be from 1 to 81 you can change these numbers you can uh, put 5 over here so it will be choosing a random number from 5 to 81 as simple as that you can also increase the number these are just uh, random numbers choose by the team so color color can be any uh, random integer value from these two parameters then again uh, the filling value so here is the main function of the circle thing point x point y radius color and fill so this shall be the x coordinate of the center y coordinate of the center the radius of the circle the color of the circle and the fill of the circle almost uh, same program as the earlier one i'll just run it and we will see how this thing looks on your smart gpu too Here we go. Well, it kind of looks cute. All those circles. You know. As uh, I don't know if you are noticing this uh, closely, they are also filled circles, and you can also see uh, the outline of a only the only outline of a circle that is a hollow circle, and we also having filled circles. So these are two types of circles we are having here. So these were the two ready-made programs. Now we will check out. You know, we will try to make out our own program. Okay. To begin with, uh, I'll be mostly copy pasting most of the things. These are the basic things you'll be needing. What else do we need? Okay, we need this fill thing for the random parameter of a fill part of a circle bracket is already open not here we go ok and what else yeah we need this lcd board rate thing uh, yeah we also need uh, to choose the random function for our fill thing go so what else yeah the main thing that is the function main function of our drawing a circle okay now uh, in this part only the fill value is being chosen as a random function the rest all values we need to, we need to enter so let's say 50 from the x 50 units from the y let the radius be small say around 20 let the color be blue ok and my semicolon let's also draw a line in the same program okay here we go here is a program of the line and here is the function let me just pick these things okay paste it over here now the x coordinate let's say 100 comma y coordinate 100 let's draw it till 200 200 oh sorry and let the color be red semicolon let's finish off our program over here so I'll be having a circle and a line let me compile this thing ok 
done compiling. Let's upload. So here we go. Here we have our blue circle. That is the displacement from the x-axis and y-axis was 50, comma 50, and the displacement of the starting point of the uh, line, that is x1, comma y1 of the line was 100, comma 100 from the x and y-axis till the 200 and the 200 of x2 and y2. The circle was expected to be blue and the line is red. So these things are very simple. 